So this is how you connect AI to Go I Level. First thing we're gonna do is go to settings, and then we are going to scroll down over here and get the API key, okay? Now what we do is we go to integrations and then and then you paste the GHL API key right here. See? Boom. And then save. Okay? And then the way you connect your calendar is also very simple. What you do is you go to calendars, you go to your calendar setting, and then you find what calendar you want to choose. We're going to choose this one. And then we're going to press share and then you're going to copy the permanent link. So you copy that and then you go to here and then you copy the last part of the URL. So the last slash. Okay. So you copy that part, then you go here and then you paste your calendar right here and then you save. Okay. So that's the first step on connecting go high level to area. So the second thing that we're going to do is go back to go high level. Okay. Okay. And then go to automation. Okay. And then go to the folder that you're creating everything with air in, okay? And then create another workflow, okay? Create it from scratch. So what this is going to do is whenever a new lead comes from Go High Level, it's going to immediately call it. So what we're going to do is create a trigger. Um, so the, it's going to be a contact tag, okay? And then we're just going to save trigger, okay? And then, and then we're going to create a custom webhook, okay? And then custom webhook, okay? This is very simple, okay? So what you do is just uh, paste this link in, uh, chat.air.ai. Um, I'll just zoom in so you're able to copy it. Let's zoom in. Okay, so that's what you're going to need to put in the URL, okay? All right, so let's zoom out again, okay? And then for authorization, it's going to be bearer token, okay? And um, for the bearer token, what you do is you go to uh, RAI, and then you go to client API, and then you label something what you want over here. So you just name it whatever you want. So I'm just going to label it test two. But because I already have one, we're just not going to do that because I already have one. So we're just going to copy this. Okay. And then we're going to go back and paste that bear token right here. Okay. And then what you're going to need to do is go down to raw body. And then you're going to need to paste this. So this is what you're going to paste. So delete that part and then paste this. Okay, don't worry that it says something's wrong. It's actually not wrong because it works. So then let me just zoom in a bit. Okay, so that's basically what you're going to need to copy. Okay, and then let me zo zoom out. Okay, and then we save everything. Okay, and then label this uh, sending new lead lead from go high level to air. Okay, and then you, you save it. And then if you want to, I'm not going to publish it, but if you want to publish it, you're able to publish it. What you're also able to do is add a filter right here. Okay. Tag added. Okay. And then you're able to add whatever tag you want. So it's just going to be like air AI lead. And then you're able to add a new tag. So every single time the leads tag is air AI lead, it's going to call it. So what you're able to do is whenever you have a, uh, lead in your pipeline what you're able to do is create a workflow that well when it's in that certain pipeline my pipe my, my pipeline is area so so whenever a lead is in the area pipeline a tag is immediately added to that lead and then it'll call it and then yeah and then let's go back to air um let's go to settings and and then go back to create okay And we're going to send a booking link. So the best way to do this is very simple. I just made a random one for this. I made a couple of ones, but so this is how you do it. So you paste, type out, I will send it the link over now so you can book a call. That's basically what you have to have over here. So let's go to Zapier to finish the rest. So we go to Zapier and then let's go to area. And then I already created this. So it's very simple on what you need to do is you do this okay so let's go into edit mode okay so 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 what you do is create a custom webhook um webhooks by zapier and then you catch the hook okay there's catch raw hook retrieve a uh, pull click catch hook okay then you click continue 
and then you go here so as you're able to see right here i only have two requests that it was able to pull so now we're going to get a third record so i can show you that it works so what you do is you tell arii to call you and then you click call okay hey emmanuel hi hi emmanuel i hope you're doing well i just wanted to let you know that i will send the link over now so you can call let me know if you have any questions or need any further assistance so that's basically what all you needed to get to be able to get the custom record, to be able to connect Zapier to Air. So now just click find new record, it's finding, and then as you're able to see, it came through, okay? So then you would just go continue with selected record, okay? And then you go to path, okay? So it's I, I labeled it path A. So with the, this path, it's gonna create a couple more paths, delete all of those paths, and that the way you delete it is just go here and then there's going to be a delete button okay so just label the the path is just going to be labeled path a and the, you're, you're gonna look up action over here action booking link okay and then you're, you're going to scroll down and it's going to be exactly matches so text exactly matches and then you're going to go back to air and then you're going to go to action and then you're going to copy exactly what you put in this action part and then you're going to booking link, okay? Now you press continue, uh -huh. and then continue. And then, so now what we're gonna do, so when a lead wants us sending them a booking link, we're, what we're gonna do is go to high level and then create a pipeline, okay? Very simple, okay? So then what, what I have in this pipeline, it's a very simple pipeline, new lead and lead responded. So lead responded means they responded to the call and now, now we're able to see who, who responded to the call. And then we're able to make calls off of that and like message to lead off of that information. What you do is you press continue, you, you connect it. So, that, so then you scroll down, select pipeline, air pipeline. That's what I labeled it. And then we go to select stages. And then we're going to just click lead responded to call. Okay. And then you scroll down. There's nothing else that you need to put. So just scroll down. Just make sure that there's nothing else that you need to put. Okay, so so the last things you're, you're going to need to put is lead email. So you, all you need to do is search up lead email, click that, and then lead name. So you, you come down here, lead, last, last name, and then you click that, okay? And then you, you press continue, okay? And then you press test up. Then boom, as you're able to see, it's completed. So Zapier is now done. Now you publish because I'm doing this a second time. I'm just going to say V2 and then we're going to publish this. Okay. So now what happens if the lead doesn't ask for a booking link? This is what you do. What we're going to do is go to automations. Let's just create a new automation right now. So create workflow, create from scratch. Okay. And, and then add a new trigger. It's going to be trigger. Oh, sorry. It's going to be inbound webhook. Okay. What you do is you get this webhook. Okay. And then you go back to air. Okay. You go to integrations. One more step in air is you go to client API and then you generate a cook. So let's just label this test one. Okay. So we're going to label it test one. Okay. And then we go to webhooks. Okay. And then we recreate a webhook. We put the bear token right here because that, that's where it's going to go. And then you go back to go high level and then you get your URL from here. And then you go back to air, you paste that URL and then you click post call data. Okay. And then you create. Okay. Now you go back to create. Okay. And then go to a random agent. Okay. Now just tell it to call you. Now it's calling me as you're able to see, and then put it on speaker. I will send you the link so you can book a call. Okay, so, so that was just a test. It doesn't matter what it is. It just has to be something. It needs to be a short call. And then like you go here, payload, as you're able to see, it got it. Now everything's over here as, as you're able to see. So click save, create contact, okay. Then you create a opportunity. Okay, and then and then you select the stage you want it to be in. So you, first you have to select 
the pipeline, so Air AI pipeline, and then lead responded, okay? And then, boom, opportunity name, blah, blah, put whatever you want over there, and then you click save, okay? And then, what you do is go to notes, okay, add, add to notes, and then inbound webhook trigger call, call recording URL, you're able to put other stuff, we're just going to put this transcript right here, and then click save, and then, and then go to create contact, create contact, okay, and then you click add field, and then you click full name, and then you write full name, okay, and then you put inbound webhook, call, and then you, you try finding um, lead name, okay, and then go here, and then you click phone number, just search up phone number, and then you do the same thing, it's gonna be, sorry, go here, inbound, call, and then try finding two number, okay? So you go here, call, and then two number, and then you click save, and just label it, air, AI, tran, transcript, okay? Call, one, that's what I'm gonna label it. And then if you want to, you're able to publish it. So that's basically it on how you connect Air AI to Go High Level. So if you want me implementing Air or other AI systems into your business, just book a call with me. The link is right in the description of this video. And if you want to support me and get some snapshots, just sign up with GHO with my affiliate code.